The Sistine Chapel and the Vatican Museums cause all to lift their spirit and contemplate the relationship between God and man. He speaks to each person individually. And to a chosen number, he instills a specific call, not only to appreciate, but to make a special effort to keep the beauty before them alive and afresh. The works of art and rare antiquities throughout the rooms, chapels, galleries and courtyards inside the museums are seen by millions of visitors every year. But beyond the public eye and behind closed doors are those pieces temporarily under restoration in spaces where the fragile works can be healed and cared for. These are the restoration laboratories inside the Vatican Museums. Here, behind the scenes, restorers commit themselves day in and day out for months and even years to multiple or sometimes just a single work of art. Across the museums, the needs are nearly endless. An estimated 20,000 works are on display out of approximately 70,000 cultural artifacts, many of which need constant restoration. Ensuring that these needs are met are the Patrons of the Arts of the Vatican Museums, an organization founded in 1983 celebrating its 40th anniversary. It has an office in Vatican City and nonprofit chapters spread across the globe. We have chapters in Asia, North America, Europe, many, many places. And uh, it's an international group of people, patrons, who come together for the main purpose of preserving and conserving the museums in their ability to help the restorers, preserve the works, so the rest of their generations to come can enjoy these works and look at them and say, this is part of our civilization. Before the patron's founding, Pope St. Paul VI laid the groundwork in 1969 by calling together an international group of benefactors called the Friends of the Vatican Museums. Their purpose was to purchase modern art and bring it to the Vatican Museums. And from this point forward, new ideas began to spring forth. There was an understanding that the museums needed to preserve and restore the art that's already there. And so this was the founding, the name change, to Patrons of the Arts in the Vatican Museums. To mark the occasion, the Patrons of the Arts of the Vatican Museums held their 40th anniversary celebration at the Vatican from the 6th to the 10th of November, with chapter members in attendance from across the globe. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this wonderful, wonderful beginning of the week of the 40th anniversary of the patrons. The panel consisted of key figures from the Vatican and its museums that included Sister Raffaella Petrini, Secretary General of the Vatican City State, Dr. Barbara Yatta, Director of the Vatican Museums, and Cardinal Fernando Verges Alzaga, President of the Vatican City State. To celebrate this great anniversary brings back many memories for everyone, but it is also a renewal, a time for the awareness of our important mission, the preservation of beauty that is so beneficial for all humanity. We personally thank you today from our hearts for the good that you do and wish for you and your families the best wishes of peace. May God bless you. For the next four weeks on Vaticano, we accompany the patrons of the arts of the Vatican Museums, showing you key moments during their five-day pilgrimage in the Eternal City and giving you a rare look at life inside the restoration laboratories and projects of the Vatican Museums.